Welcome back to the Republican presidential debate. Uh, and now, candidates, it's time for your closing statements. You get 30 seconds each. And Senator Paul, we will begin with you. We're the richest, freest, most humanitarian nation in the history of mankind. But we also borrow a million dollars a minute. And the question I have for all Americans is think about it. Can you be a fiscal conservative if you don't conserve all of the money? If you're a profligate spender and you spend money in an unlimited fashion for the military, is that a conservative notion? We have to be conservative with all spending, domestic spending and welfare spending. I'm the only fiscal conservative on the stage. Thank you, Senator. Governor Kasich. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if, if Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders were to win this election, my 16-year-olds, I, I, I worry about what their life is going to be like. You know, the conservative movement is all about opportunity. It is about lower taxes, it's about balanced budgets, it's about less regulation, and it's about sending power, money, and influence back to where we live so we can run America from the bottom up. In addition to that, once we have the power and the money and the influence with programs we shift out, then each of us have a responsibility to reach out and uh, to rebuild our families, make them stronger, and connect our neighborhoods. All that together, wealth, connection, family, America's greatest days are ahead. We must win this election. Carly Fiorina. Imagine a Clinton presidency. Our military will continue to deteriorate. Our veterans will not be cared for. And no, Mrs. Clinton, that situation is not exaggerated. The rich will get richer. The poor will get poorer. The middle class will continue to get crushed. And as bad as that picture is, what's even worse is that a Clinton presidency will corrode the character of this nation. Why? Because of the Clinton way. Say whatever you have to. Lie as long as you can get away with it. We must beat Hillary Clinton. Carly Fiorina can beat Hillary Clinton. I will beat Hillary Clinton. And under a President Fiorina, we will restore the character of this nation, the security of this nation, the prosperity of this nation, because as citizens, we will take our government back. Former Governor Jeb Bush. Jane Horton is sitting with my wife here today. Her husband, Chris, was killed in action in Afghanistan. And Jane spends her time now defending and fighting for military families. They're both heroes. I don't think we need an agitator in chief or a divider in chief. We need a commander in chief that will rebuild our military and restore respect to our veterans by revamping and fixing a broken veterans administration. That's my pledge to you. I ask for your support. Thank you. Senator Ted Cruz. 58 years ago my father fled Cuba. As he stood on the deck of that ferry boat with the wind and salt air blowing, he looked back at the oppression and torture he was escaping. And yet he looked forward to the promise of America. His story is our story. What ties Americans together is we are all the children of those who risked everything for freedom. America is in crisis now. I believe in America. And if we get back to the free market principles and constitutional liberties that built this country, we can turn this country around. I believe that 2016 will be an election like 1980, that we will win by following Reagan's admonition to paint in bold colors, not pale pastels. We're building a grassroots army. I ask you to join us at tedcruz.org, and we the people can turn this nation around. Senator Marco Rubio. Ours, the story of America is an extraordinary story. It is the story of a nation that for over two centuries, each generation has left the next better off than themselves. But now, because Washington is out of touch, through the fault of both political parties, for the first time in our history, that is in doubt. And that is what this election must be about, because if the next four years are anything like the last eight years, our children will be the first Americans ever left worse off by their parents. This election is about making a different choice, about applying our principles of limited government and free enterprise to the unique issues of our time. And if we do, we will not just save the American dream, 
We will expand it to reach more people and change more lives than ever before. And the 21st century can be a new American century. So tonight, I ask you for your vote. And I ask you to join us at my website, MarcoRubio.com. <laughs> <He's funny. laughs> Dr. Ben Carson. In the two hours of this debate, of this debate five people have died from drug-related deaths. A hundred million dollars has been added to our national debt. Two hundred babies have been killed by abortionists. And two veterans have taken their lives out of despair. This is a narrative that we can change. Not we the Democrats, not we the Republicans, but we the people of America, because there is something special about this nation, and we must embrace it and be proud of it and never give it away for the sake of political correctness. Donald Trump. Thank you. Over the years, I've created tens of thousands of jobs and a great company. It's a company I'm very proud of, some of the most iconic assets anywhere in the world. And I will tell you, I don't have to give you a website because I'm self-funding my campaign. I'm putting up my own money. I want to do something really special. I want to make our country greater than it's ever been. I think we have that potential. We cannot lose this election. We cannot let Hillary Clinton, who is the worst Secretary of State in the history of our country, win this election. We will fight, we will win, and we truly will make this even more special. We have to make it better than ever before, and I will tell you, the United States can actually be better than ever before. Thank you. Candidates, we want to thank you all. We also appreciate your helping save time by talking over one another at times. That was welcome. But by, by all means, it was a very riveting debate. Business issues can be, can be riveting because it wasn't about us. It's about them. Thank you. That'll do it. Thank you for joining us.